order to fit within a cell, DNA is packaged. DNA strands are wrapped around proteins, and ultimately coiled over 1000 times. This structure is called as chromatin, and proteins are called histones. There are five different kinds of histones. H1, H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. Histones bind to DNA to form chromatin, in the nucleus of cells. In non-dividing cells chromatin is dispersed throughout nucleus. During prophase of cell division, chromatin condenses into visible structures called chromosomes. This electron micrograph shows chromosomes lined up in middle of the cell. The presence of histones in nucleus of cells was part of debate about which molecule, DNA or protein is heredity material. Of course, DNA turn out to have that distinction. However, the X-ray diffraction studies later showed histones play an important role in providing structure for DNA helix. In 1964, Morris Wilkins and Vittorio Lazzari noticed that chromatin has a repeating pattern with intervals of about 100 angstroms. This repeat is different from repeating pattern of DNA itself. Based on X-ray diffraction pattern and nuclease experiments, the 200 base pair repeat observed after digestion, which corresponds to 200 base pair of DNA wrapped around each histone core. The 100 angstrom measurement from X-ray diffraction is the width of histone core and DNA. Roger Kornberg confirmed this model through experiments. He also figured out the arrangement of histones in the core. He individually purified the histones and figured out that H2A and H2B stick together as do H3 and H4. If the H2A, H2B complex is mixed with H3, H4 complex with naked DNA, X-ray pattern for chromatin is achieved. More analysis revealed that each histone core has 8 proteins, 2 copies each of H2A, H2B complex and H3, H4 complex. This histone core with wrapped DNA is called nucleosome. This is an electron micrograph of chromatin. This fiber is called 10 nanometer fiber. But where is H1 histone? It turns out that H1 histone is not part of histone core. Instead it binds nucleosomes to give even more structure to chromatin. H1 histone sits just outside of each nucleosome and interacts with the H1 of the other nucleosome. At higher salt concentrations 10 nanometer is further compacted into 30 nanometer fiber. The DNA structure is already twisted. By adding more twists to nucleosomes and solenoid structures, DNA is supercoiled. Even more organization is involved in maintain condensed chromosomes. Non-histone protein makes scaffold proteins which maintains shape of chromosomes even in absent of histones. Up to 6 feet of DNA is packaged to fit into nucleus of cell. The DNA is wrapped around histone cores, to form nucleosome, and 10 nanometer fiber. The 10 nanometer fiber is further coiled to form 30 nanometer fiber, where 6 nucleosome make one turn. The 30 nanometer then looped into scaffold proteins when chromosome condenses. DNA packaging has important role in gene expression.